Hello everyone, and welcome back. In this quick video tutorial, I show you how to create a restore point, on Windows 11, via the command line. Many users liken the restore point, to a time machine for your computer, as it allows you to save a snapshot, of your system settings, files, and configurations. And if something goes wrong at any time, you can return to a previous state, and undo the changes, while preserving your data, in peace of mind. And I will show you step by step, how to create a restore point, and use it when needed. At first, whatever the method you will use, to create a restore point, you must enable system restore points. Open settings, and from there, click on the system tab from the left. On the other side, scroll down and select about. Then, click on system protection tab, to open the system properties window. You will notice, that the protection of the C drive, that contains the system is off, so if you want to create a restore point, in any way, it must be enabled. Click on configure button, and under the restore settings, select the option, turn on system protection, then click on apply, and then the ok button, this step is very important, so that you can write the command line, and create a restore point through the command prompt, without any problem. The next step, open the command prompt window, as an administrator, so that you can access all the permissions, while taking the restore point. Then enter the command, that appears in front of you, on the screen. And I will leave you the command, in the description of the video, you can only change the name, of the restore point to the name you want. Then paste command, in the command prompt window, and wait a few seconds, until the restore point is completed successfully, and you should see, that method execution successful. Thus, the restore point was created successfully. You can now close command prompt window. But, at any time you want to restore the system point, that you created, enter the command that appears in front of you, on the screen. I will show you the command in the description, of the video. Sorry, it seems that I entered the command incorrectly. I will write it correctly. Once you execute the command, the command prompt will launch the system restore tool. Click on the next button. Here, select the restore point you want to restore. You may have more than one point, if you have created more than one restore point. In my case, I have one restore point. Select it, and click next. Here it will restore the system drive. Click on the finish button, to confirm your restore point. Then, click on the yes button to confirm the restore process, for this point that we created, and immediately, Windows will start the restore. It may take a few minutes, or more depending on the size of your restore point. In any case, you have to wait for the restore point to finish successfully. The computer will restart, and it will take, as I told you, a few minutes or more. You can be patient, until the restore point is finished, and the process is completed successfully. Also. Do not turn off the computer, or unplug the computer during this process. After completion, Windows will open normally, log into your Windows. Once you log into your Windows after completing, the restore point process, a message will appear stating that the restore process was completed successfully. In this way, you can create a restore point, for your system at any time you want, and you can also restore it, at the time you want, to return to a previous state, and undo the changes while preserving your data, for more tech tips, and tricks. Let me know in the comments, what other tutorials you'd like to see, and if you found this video useful, don't forget to press like button, and subscribe, thank you for watching. And I hope the video was useful to you. And I also hope to subscribe to my channel. Thank you all.